Hello everyone, I've been playing a lot of different games recently and I wanted to talk about how I think the times of um, limited battle passes and rotating stores that you only get a few items in each day or each week or whatever, however the game in particular handles it, is outdated. Uh, I don't think that it is a very good model anymore. I think there was a time when it was, but I don't think it is anymore and I don't think it is for every game. So I'm here in X-Fine. You can see there's a few things I can buy. There's two bundles, there's this mecha bundle, there's the white alchemy bundle, and then there's some individual stuff. We're talking about how this is outdated, right? And I, I've got a few things to back this up. This is an article talking about whales. Whales, if you don't know what they are, are people in games who spend a lot of money on the microtransactions. And this is specifically mobile games, but this still applies to just games in general, right? It might not be perfect, but it's, it's still a good representation. So it mentions here, why are mobile game whales your most valuable users? Now we can literally take out the word mobile here and it still applies. Why are game whales, or why are whales in, in our case, was, was just more simple, your most valuable users? Well, the reason for that, as they say here, is if you look at the statistics for the top grossing games, the whales make up 50% or more uh, of, of the revenue. So if you give a whale an item shop, like an X-Defiant, Let's say I'm a whale. Let's role play for a minute here. If I'm a whale and I want to collect everything in this game, right? I love X Defiant and I want all these skins because I load up the shop and every single time I see one of these, I get excited. You know, even though I've got a better M4 skin, you know, maybe I want to put this one on and I, I, I'm going to hit buy, right? On every single thing. Does it make sense to limit what the whale can buy? Because I don't think it does. And I also don't think that a rotating daily or weekly item shop really benefits anyone. What it's trying to do is have this fear of missing out or FOMO, which uh, has become so common. But the reality of it is, do people really care? Because if something is in an item shop, at this point people realise it's not going forever. And if you look at Fortnite, if it is going forever, it's probably not worth buying anyway. I mean, people absolutely go crazy over the Renegade Raider skin because it was season one and it was su or season whatever. It was super rare, right? It's not really a good skin. The reason people like it is because it's rare and because it's cool. But if it came out again, people would buy it because, oh my God, that skin, it's not been in the shop for ages. And then they'd buy it. But then everyone would have it and no one would like it anymore. <laughs> Because the only reason that like, the vast majority of people, the only reason they like it is because it's rare, right? So yes, you can end up in situations where things like that are reasonable. But in a game like X-Defiant, where you only have, a like, from what I've seen, only a handful of buyable cosmetics anyway. Like, these aren't, I'm not, I'm not worried if I miss out on these. I mean, I like these like sticker weapons, right? But 800 credits? Am I am I worried if I lose out on the the sword off shotgun like cool little crocodile guy? Not really. <laughs> the same goes for for this. I mean, I just don't like these. I don't like these skins anyway. But if I did, am I really really worried about missing out on it? What I'm saying is, if people see a skin that they like, no matter how they see that skin, they are going to be likely to buy that skin. It doesn't have to be on a rotation. You don't have to pull new daily stuff in. Because if there was just a place where people could see like everything, everything that they're interested in, in Fortnite's case, like have a skin section, have a um, like a weapon wrap section, things like that, right? For X Defiant, you can do the same. But I've got some other things to talk about regarding this. I want to visualize something here for you. Imagine you are doing your monthly shop or your parents are doing your monthly shop, right? You think about all the things that you normally eat or drink. So for me, I drink lots of tea. So I would need the shop to have um, tea, 
and milk because I drink my tea with milk and I can't drink it without it, I don't like it. So if I go to the shop and then they've got coffee, bacon, uh, like cheese, I don't know, bell peppers, chili peppers and some ice cream. Like, you know, that's a good handful of things, just like one of these, these games item shops, right? Well, I can't get what I want. Now, that's a very different situation because that, you know, you rely on, on, on food a lot more than you rely on any, well, <laughs> you don't rely on skins at all. But think about it. Just think about it. Because if you went into the shop and they didn't have what you would want, you would just go to a different shop. But then it's the same thing, right? Because then you go to another shop and then they're you know, they have different items, but none of that's what you need. It's just inconvenient. And that's what I think about these daily item shops. It's just inconvenient. I don't understand why games are still doing it. Because I get that it's probably for a, a FOMO thing, right? But most games, you're not missing out. Because a game like x Defiant has a rotating daily item shop. But who cares? Who actually cares? Because... I'll tell you how the X Defiant shop works for me, right? I have I have a lot of X coins because I, I support this game. I want this game to do well. And, you know, when a cosmetic comes in, I'll pick it up. I open this shop and I see stuff like this and I'm not I'm not personally interested in it. You know, I'm not saying that there's no one that is, but I'm not personally interested in it. I'm not going to spend my money. It's not a FOMO thing. I don't see this ACR skin and think, oh my God, but what if they never bring it back? Because who cares? Who cares? Literally, if you care that someone has a, a skin that was in a shop once and isn't anymore, are you okay? Let's think about this, right? Would game companies make more money if players could buy any skin? Well, if we look back at the article we were just looking at regarding whales, think about it. They are making up 50% or more of the revenue and you're going to limit what they can buy with, with this rotating item shop. It doesn't make sense to do that. If you let them buy everything, I'm talking old Battle Pass skins, like you could do it in a way which, you know, wouldn't upset people as well. Like you could, let's say, let's, let's say Fortnite, for example, right? There, I think it's season two, they have like the like Black Knight skin or whatever it's called. Like people like, it's all right. It's, it's an early Fortnite skin. It's pretty mid, but people really like it, they could bring that back in the shop and just make it cost more, like the, the price of a normal skin, right? And people will buy it because they, like, they, I don't think it would upset that many people if they brought it back either. Because think about it this way, right? They bring back old, or any company brings back old Battle Pass stuff to buy. The reality of it is, if it costs more than the Battle Pass, those people who just bought the Battle Pass are still happy. And if they're not, then it's because they thought they had something like rare, which I, I just, I don't really understand. Maybe that's, maybe that's just me, right? But I don't really understand that. Like, if you care that your skins in games are rare, I don't even know what to say to you. Okay, this is a handy little website here, right? xdefiant.skin if you're interested. Let's say I am just someone who wants a certain skin, right? Like, I, I can click on here right now. And I can, I can see, you know, let's say, uh, a, I want an AK skin. That Nautilus AK looks pretty damn cool. I would like the Nautilus AK. Imagine if I could load into X Defiant right now with my 3000 credits, just scroll down to the AK section and just buy the skin I wanted. In the battle pass, I got this one. But when this battle pass is gone, people won't be able to get this anymore which I think is lame. I think people should be able to get this. I don't want people to miss out on this because it's a really cool skin. And if they could just buy it for like the same price as um, like this Lux skin, which is in the shop right now, 1,000, well, I don't care. Like put the power washer in the shop for 1,000. Let people still get the skins and just have the battle pass be like a, a way to get uh, a collection of the skins for a, a, like a good price, right? And let people get their credits back so they can just essentially buy one and have it forever. The Battle Pass buyers are happy and the people who just want a certain skin are happy because they can just go and buy it. They don't have to, <laughs> they don't have to like sit and think, damn, I wish I had that Battle Pass like two years ago, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Valorant has this and I don't understand it because 
the Valorant skins are expensive. They are not cheap. But if you want one, you also have to have enough money to buy the skin or bundle or whatever. You also have to be there at the right time when it's there, when it's buyable, which is also just... God knows if that'll happen, right? There's just... You're limiting what your players can even get. And I'll keep going back to it. If the whales make up for 50% or more of the revenue. Because again, if I'm a whale and I just want to have a collection, let's say, like there's one guy who I saw on a, a video who's bought every single Valorant skin when they come out and he doesn't even like them. He doesn't even like most of them. He said it himself. <laughs> but like, you know, there's people who will do that. There is. There's normal people, normal people who just work a job. They will do that. There are people out there who either are addicted to it, which is bad, obviously, but, you know, there's people there who do it. Or there's just people who like collecting. You know, there's a lot of people who supposedly make up for most of the, most of the revenue a game makes who will just buy the stuff. So why lock them off? Why say, no, you're not allowed to buy stuff? You're not allowed to buy that skin you want? Right now, I can't buy that Nautilus AK. I'm, not, I'm no whale, but hey, I'd, I'd buy it if it was there. If you're going to do this daily rotational item shop, maybe just do the same thing, but offer the items at a, like a reduced price because that you, you got them while they were like in rotation. Maybe do that. There's a lot of ways you could do it. But I do think not giving people the option to just buy what they want is probably harming um, a lot of these games more than it is benefiting them. In the long run, at least, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think more games should just let you buy what you want? Or do you have an idea of a way that they could implement this uh, in, a, in a better way? Maybe a game that's already doing it? Let me know. And if you liked what you saw, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.